Free Wasteland Buddy. Well, we're in the southeastern portion of the map in Fallout 3, in the capital wasteland. We're heading toward Canterbury Commons. We're going to investigate what Three Dog mentioned, or he hinted at, in his little radio broadcast. So anyway, um, we're kind of, uh, it's just before daybreak. Uh, it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it, it turns out that this works as a little bridge. Hey, it's a functional bridge. Whee! This is part of that double tramway, or what's left of it, um, the hulking remains of it. Um, and it's a beautiful morning in the wasteland. The weather's not bad. Well, you know, we don't really get any rain, uh, even with my weather mods. <laughs> uh, that doesn't include rain right now. Um, interesting. I think, uh, so uh, we've been kind of traveling north. We're in the eastern edge of the map. We're traveling north, and eventually we're going to bang into Canterbury Commons. I don't think this is it. This is some other, it looks like some ruins of a city or something. I don't know what it is. Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? What do you think of these graphics? Great, huh? Eh? Uh, I was going to use a flora over it. What's this? Oh, it's a down telephone pole. I was going to use like a flora overhaul, but I decided after looking at a bunch of them that they, they just mess up the colors too much in the wasteland. Like a one floor overhaul has a has like green grass and it's just so starkly contrasting to the other color palette that it doesn't work out. Oh yeah, Corvega. That's a, a little pun upon uh, Corvettes that are manufactured in uh, Detroit. Well, uh, the Corvettes or the Corvegas um, are somewhere here in the wasteland. I just don't know where the the factory is. Uh, I know it's here, uh, somewhere. Ooh, speaking of, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm going to start an explosion. Gratuitous explosions are always fun in the wasteland, aren't they? <laughs> Completely pointless, useless explosions. And it sets off a chain reaction. I love the chain reactions, too. They're always fun. Um, oh, so it isn't a city, but it's like a big building. And it's the Corvega factory. What was I just talking about? Uh, perfect place for a bil Corvega billboard. Okay, we're not going to go in here, even though it's uh, uh, tempting. It looks a lot like the other buildings in the wasteland, but I'm sure there's some uh, unique things going on in there. But maybe someday we'll... Uh, uh, when we're exploring the eastern edge of the map again, we'll go back to Corvega Factory. Oh yeah, now check this out up ahead. You see that radio tower? Uh, there's a specific reason for those, and it's kind of gimmicky. Scanning, oh, that's good. I can't ever tell if that means that he detects uh, hostiles or not. Anyway, there, one useful purpose of these radio towers is to uh, uh, set up uh, little radio signals. Uh, the radio signal isn't active until you turn on the power to the station. For some reason, the power is always off. Oh, shoot! Ah. Oh, there's oh, an enclave. Oh. Hey, dang it, why didn't I notice that before? Oh. There, let's just take care of it that way. Oh. And I'll finish these turrets off with a minigun. I can't even see what's going on over there. It's just spraying full of bullets. Well, there's oh. one turret left. Oh. Oh. Turret left. Let's put this between oh, the ah, turret. There we go. Oh, and that's the end of him. All right. So anyway, uh, here let's loot this really quick. Bottle cappies. Hey, good. Watch in here. Aha! It's a uh, Enclave Field Research Terminal Row Camp. Okay, we'll check that out later. I'm just looking around for loot. Okay, now let anyway. Let's turn on the radio tower. Like I was saying before, for some reason all the power to the radio towers are off. Don't ask me why, but we'll figure it out later. Got, somebody really doesn't want me turning this thing on. I'm going to do it anyway. Alright, here we go. Aha! Yeah. And now, we check out our radio, and there it is. <gasps> it sounds like a ghoul. There is no Morse code. It sounds like a ghoul. Whoever owned the radio tower and operated it turned ghoulish. 
Oh my god, that's creepy, isn't it? Okay, why don't we check out that terminal really quick, just to see what the hell's going on there. They might even mention something about the radio tower. Uh, this will go really fast. I've got perfect skill to do this, so I just kind of uh, replenish it. And then there's only so many options anyway. Yeah, see? There we go. Now pause if you want to read this. Department of the Art, you've been... A road chip sends out a short-range signal that allow you to freely wander this and only this camp under the protection of the provided armaments, which we just destroyed, so they're pretty much useless. <laughs> Do you like that ASCII 2 uh, American flag? You know, there's a different number of stars and it's a different configuration because uh, all states were grouped into regions or commonwealths, and that's why um, the Boston Commonwealth is called that, or like the Massachusetts Commonwealth. They were like 13 different regions. Um, instead of having uh, 50 states and annexing, you know, Canada was not reflected on the flag at all. It was just kind of like a extra territory. They didn't even consider it worthy to be on the map. Yeah, great morning in the wasteland. That's uh, another interstate that you can follow if you want. There's all kinds of good landmarks to kind of uh, keep your way and prevent yourself from getting lost. Um, now this leads up somewhere. Where does this go? <gasps> Is that, it's, I think that's Canterbury Commons. I think it is. Who in the hell is fighting? Oh, it's Fockhead. Get up here, Fockerton. Let's go up this place really quick and we can get a nice uh, view of if that's Canterbury Commons. Now watch this. This is another, oh, it's a super duper fart. Here, let's check it out. Yeah, everything must go. It is like a super duper mart. Hmm. I think that's Canterbury Commons. That has to be it. Yep, see, it's like a whole town. Uh, so we know it's, yep, that's it. That's it, all right. Sweet. Uh, and then did you notice we discovered the that building behind us is a robot repair facility. That's what we discovered. I noticed it up on the map, but anyway. All right, so why don't we go down um, like this way. I see a caravan over there. We can also trade. Yeah, we'll go down this way. Like we'll try to just plop down and then we'll head into the town that way. Pretty town, eh? Uh-oh, somebody's fighting. Stop fighting. Why does everyone have to be so hostile in the wasteland? This is supposed to be a friendly town. I thought it was going to be friendly. And, oh, the ants are evil, but the protectingtons are not. Oh, it's a sentry butts. Get your butts out of here, sentry butt. Oh, where are they going? What the hell? Oh, you know where they're going, probably. They're probably going up to the robot repair facility to repair themselves. Wow. Self-guiding robots. They head over to a repair facility whenever they're damaged. Well, that's that's simple programming. I could program droids to do that, too. Oh, no, so the caravaner runs off. I was going to trade with him. All right. Oh, well, who's are you all right? You aren't hurt, are you? I'd like to apologize for the rude welcome. Uh, Those two have been care. a bit of a problem. Which lately. two? Name's Roe. Uncle Roe to most. <sighs> welcome to Canterbury Commons. For what that's worth. I missed the superhuman battle. Or the, like, superhero battle. Uh, you seem to be pretty calm. Hey, I'm just passing through. Don't bug me with your problems. Yeah, I like that. Uh, let's just ask them who they were. That must be the 20th time I've seen those two go at it. There are problem citizens, the mechanist and the ant yeah, agonizer. Yeah, the two superheroes. A while ago, we were attacked by the ant agonizer. That woman with the ants, obviously. <laughs> the mechanist saved the town with his robots. Well, we didn't see them. That was all well and good, but I swear their fights are getting bigger and it's been driving off the merchants. Uh -huh. They simply won't leave. Well, too bad. Uh, well, how much would a solution be worth to you? Two hundred cows, if you can find where the ant agonizer and the mechanist hide and convince them to stop their rivalry or otherwise stop or fighting. Or you can get them to kill each you other. You only need to stop one of them, really. Nowadays, I think they only stay in Canterbury to fight each other. So what do you say? Eh, uh, you know what? Double that two 
double it to 400 and you mm, got your you deal. You drive a hard bargain, friend. But seeing how we haven't been able to solve Ooh. the problem ourselves, fine. You've got a deal. But I expect results. I don't care what you expect. Oh, and please do try to use some discretion. We already have plenty of would-be heroes starting wars in our streets. We don't need another. Yeah, I'll try. No promises. So, can I ask you more about them? Oh, there's the superhuman gambit. There's our side quest to destroy one or two of the superheroes. Can I ask you more about the If it'll help, I'm glad to. Okay, what about the ant agonizer? That's so stupid. One day there was a crazy woman leading a bunch of ants into town. Uh -huh. She said humanity was dead and the ants would inherit the earth. Ah. Stuff like that. Well, that gave Dom plenty of time to line up a shot or two on the well, ants. Well, that's actually she ran what away, would happen. But every once in a while, she'd stage an attack. She wasn't much <laughs> of a threat then. In fact, she was sort of entertaining at first. Gave everyone in town something to talk about. <laughs> but when the mechanists started fighting her, things got bad. Yeah. You know, ants probably would inherit the Earth after a nuclear war. Hey, know anything else that could help me stop them? My nephew Derek might know more about them. Oh. I swear it's all I can do to keep him from running into the fight whenever they come out. He might know more about where you can find them, but don't encourage the poor boy. He's had enough close calls. I'll do whatever I want. Okay, see you later. I most heartily agree. Okay, so there, now we have to ask... I could ask Derek about them. Ooh, can you repair shit? We used to have a better mechanic, but that didn't work out so well. I'll see what I can do. Why not? Let's just have him repair everything. Deal, we go. And, all right, gotta go now. Let's see, anything else? Oh, you yeah. You can usually find one of the trade caravans at the entrance to town. Yeah, he just ran away. Every day or two. Other than them, Porter's always got food for sale down at the diner. Well, I can sell him my excess crap. Good luck with... Okay. Anyway. So now let's explore Canterbury Commons a little, shall we? Uh, can we loot these guys? Nope, I guess not. Searching for targets. Keep searching. Uh, let's look for uh, garages and homes that we can enter. <laughs> I'm going to break into... Oh, that's him. That's Uncle Roe. Okay. Well, there's the diner, so let's... Fart around in here. Hey, Good Joe Porter. What's up, Joe Cracker? What do you got for Just sale? Just stumbled into town. He sure picked a fine day for it. I'm Joe Porter. Uh huh. I make sure folks around here can get a meal. With you sound like fifty other people in the wasteland. Uh, he gives me dirty water, unpurified water. I'm insulted. Sorry, but our water purifier has been on back order for about. 200 years. Oh, Lord, you Unless you're here to make the delivery, I suggest you be glad for what you've got. If you want any of this shit. <laughs> okay, what's on the menu? Only the best. Yeah, sure. Hand picked from now the watch, wastes. he'll have purified water. For what in that's it. worth. No, I guess not. All right. Ooh, he's got 37 Gestim packs. All right. I'm glad I popped in here. Uh, I'm going to eat half of them. Uh, because I've got the caps to do it, so... Um, nom, nom. You know what? Actually, it's only 500s. I, I'm gonna grab the rest of them. And then I'll just sell him some junk. Uh, thank you. So now, I, yeah, I just don't like running out of stim packs, and this will prevent that. There's a nucleolator coelator. And I think that's all I want from him. Yeah, so now I'm gonna pump him full of some of my junk. Uh, like, uh... Yeah, the silence 10 millimeter. I don't know how I wound up with that. Uh, and I'm gonna, I usually get rid of mines when I have excess junk to sell. And you see what I'm doing as I sell him stuff, uh, the amount of caps I owe him reduces. There, see now it's down to 800. That's how you do it. Uh, do I have anything? Do I wanna get rid of the Nagati Nigatware? Nah, I'll keep on, I'm gonna hang on to it. Might come in handy. There's that dirty water. Uh, oh yeah, any time I have over 50 of something, I give some of it away, see, like that. And then I think... Sugar bombs! Uh, buff outs, yeah, I'll give them some buff out. Because I find plenty of that. And it's obvious that I don't use these that much, that's why I have so many. And I'll give them some that, I'll give them... Uh, Oh, I should have given him the coffee mug. Zikachetten! Yeah. And I had, think I had a tin can. Yeah, he doesn't... You know, they're worth a little bit, those blood samples, but I need to give it to the guy in the Citadel. Okay, there. I'm going to get rid of all my shells. Most of my shells, at least. Like the 10 millimeter, i get rid of half of those. There, see, now I only owe him 150. 
dodge the dots. I don't have a dart gun yet, so. There, see, we almost did it. Uh, what else could I give him? Oh, some of this flame refuel. Hey, shotgun jail. There, now he owes me money. Ha <laughs> ha. And then he only has 350 to go. Let's give him some of this flame refuel since I don't use it much. Whoops. I gave him too much. Let's uh, undo some of that. And there. Now he owes me 279. All right. A pleasure doing business with you. Oh, yeah. Let's go around the other side of the counter, see if he's got anything to steal. Nope, he sleeps back there with a baseball bat. Ha <laughs> ha. Who's that? Oh, Uncle Rowington. Okay, what else is over here? It's a garage to Dominic and Machete's house. Ooh, bet there's some hanky panky going on in here. Let's check it out. Hey, nice garage. And there's a bottle cap mine. Yeah, they don't seem to care that I'm stealing stuff. See? That's funny. Well, let's try to make Nuka grenade. Oh, shoot. And bottle cap mines. Nope, can't. And also the rocket launcher. I want to make that, but I'm missing all that stuff. I'll uh, uh, make some of it. I do want to make that rocket launcher. Ooh, just a minute. Just a minute. There. <laughs> I had to replenish my health. It was down to about 30% or so. Nuka cola. All right, there's some good stuff going on in here. Let's check the stalls out. I always check the stalls out for uh, drugs and uh, medicine and stuff. Okay, let me just loot these gun cabinets really quick. And then I think it's about time to end. Uh, but at least we found Canterbury Commons. Uh, oh, that goes into another area, okay. This is where they sleep. Yeah, and then we'll probably discover or we'll meet Dominic and Machete later on. All right. Um, Let's end here, and then we'll pick up right here in Canterbury Commons in the next one. Ooh, Dean's Electronics. So if you like this one, you can subscribe to my channel, and you'll get all of these Fallout 3 videos in your inbox. Remember, I'll also be doing a full walkthrough of Fallout 4, at least five or 600 videos uh, starting in November. It's going to be one of my favorite, probably will be my favorite game of all time. And I do Skyrim and uh, Grand Theft Auto V and The Witcher 3. All right, and I do those also on Twitch, so follow me on YouTube and follow me on Twitch both. And follow me on Twitter while you're at it. All those links are there.